the death of a cardinal, Detroit's Catholics remembering Edmund Shaka. Cardinal Shaka died last night of natural causes at Providence Park Hospital in Novi. He was the right-hand man at the Vatican for Pope John Paul II. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live at the Cathedral of the Most, Most Blessed Sacrament in Detroit. Kim, how is he being remembered today? Just one example. When I got the news, I called my grandma because I knew she would want to know. I caught her just before she left for church. I am so lucky I did. She remembered seeing Cardinal Shaka give a couple of his sermons during Mass, and she said as she listened to him, she could always feel his love of God. Here at the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament, his life is being remembered today. Taking a look back, Cardinal Edmund Shaka was born in Grand Rapids in 1927. His parents were Polish immigrants. He celebrated 60 years as a priest this year. He became Archbishop of Detroit in 1981. The Pope made him Cardinal in 1988. He made changes in the church to help the divorced get a Catholic annulment. He faced criticism for closing churches in our area, but did so, he said, to protect the church financially. He later would become governor and then president of the Vatican. Today, Archbishop Alan Vigneron released a statement saying, quote, we mourn the loss of a dedicated shepherd for 60 years, Cardinal Shaka gave himself totally to his priestly service of Christ and his church. He has gone home to the Heavenly Father with our prayers. May the Lord give him the reward of his labors. Meantime, we will be here at the cathedral today as church leaders and the archbishop share memories of his life and his faith. He is definitely going to be remembered with honor. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Without a doubt, Kim, what a loss. Thank you. And make sure to stay tuned to 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for continuing coverage of the death of Cardinal Shaka.